This is the sound of history being made. A century after Einstein predicted them, gravitational waves of cosmic origin were first detected at the massive twin observatories of the Advanced LIGO project. Physicist Gabriela Gonzalez has spent decades studying gravitational waves, one of the most elusive predictions of Einstein's theory of general relativity. I was always fascinated by space-time and Einstein's theory. But nobody had ever observed a gravitational wave until 2015. September 14, last year, we saw this signal. This is it. That's how we know we have gravitational waves. At the National Press Club in Washington, D.C., Gonzalez took center stage when the amazing discovery was announced. We can hear gravitational waves. We can hear the universe. That's what. That's one of the beautiful things about this. We are not only going to be seeing the universe, we are going to be listening to it. Now, I wanted to play the gravitational wave for you to hear. <laughs> That's the chirp we've been looking for. For Gabriela Gonzalez, it was the fulfillment of a dream that began far away from Washington, D.C., in the city of Cordoba, Argentina. Her father was an accountant, but Gabby wanted to follow in the footsteps of her mother, who was a math teacher. Math was always in her heart. In middle school, she started taking physics classes and thought that if you understood physics, you could explain everything, big things like the universe and little things like atoms. I studied physics in Argentina, and there was a research group in the University of Córdoba, so I did some research, I published a couple of articles with them. But those were turbulent times in Argentina, as opposition to the military dictatorship boiled over, and Gabby began working in student politics to help re-establish Argentinian democracy. Along the way, she discovered the two loves of her life. One of them, of course, was the study of gravitational waves. And at a gravitational physics meeting, she discovered the other, fellow physicist Jorge Poulin. You could say they experienced a gravitational attraction. And a few years later, they were married. He got a fellowship to come to the US, uh, to Syracuse, New York, to spend some time as a postdoctorate. So they made the big leap together, moving to the U.S. Gabby did her Ph.D. at Syracuse while her husband did his postdoc. We got there and then a professor uh, joined Syracuse University while I was uh, a student there and he was talking about this project LIGO, this incredible interferometer that was going to be built. This was 91, so this was before anything was built. And I found that so incredible that I decided that's what I really wanted to do. Now she's a professor of physics at Louisiana State University and the spokesperson for the LIGO Scientific Collaboration, a group of more than 1,000 scientists around the world who collaborate on the search for gravitational waves. The fact that one can use instruments of this precision to look at the structure of space-time, it's a challenge that will put science and technology at the forefront of everybody's mind. We think we understand gravity pretty well. You know, Newton's apple and all that. But it turns out that gravity at the cosmic scale is one of the greatest enigmas of nature. And gravitational waves are, in fact, tiny ripples in the fabric of space-time caused by some of the most explosive and energetic events in the universe. Did you hear the chirp? That sound was made by the titanic collision of two black holes a billion years ago. It was a collision so violent that it created a gravitational wave strong enough to propagate through the universe for a billion years and deflect the supersensitive laser sensors at LIGO by less than the width of a proton. Every child, every person will be reading about this in the newspaper and saying, what? You can really measure these things with lasers and mirrors and you're talking about black holes and space-time? LIGO is an experiment that's designed to make a precise measurement of something very small, 
but that tiny measurement has already changed our vision of the universe in big ways. It's that amazing vision of science and scientists that makes us understand the universe better. I think humanity looking for the basic structure of the universe is just what makes us human.